Really thin and crispy, just like you get at the restaurant. I want those crispy, craggly edges, but with a nice piece of steak inside, all smothered in a delicious sweet chilli sauce. And we're going to achieve that without deep frying the beef. Plus, I'll show you a tip on how to cut the steak really thinly. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Crispy chilli beef is actually my favourite Chinese takeaway dish and I really wanted to make it at home but without using a deep fat fryer while still getting that same fantastic result. So let's get cooking, we're going to start by slicing the steak. I've got three sirloin steaks here which is about 360 grams or three quarters of a pound. Now we want to slice this steak really thinly and my tip here is to place your steaks in the freezer for about 30 minutes and that will allow them to firm up a little bit so you can slice them nice and thin. Make sure you remove and discard any large pieces of fat as you're slicing. We're cooking these steak strips really quickly so the fat won't have a chance to render down and it'll just be tough and ew. Once all the steak's been sliced into strips, place them in a bowl and add an egg. Mix together to thoroughly coat the steak in the egg. Now I know some of you might be thinking, why are you adding the egg? Well the mixture of the egg and the corn flour is what gives you that lovely craggly coating. If you just use corn flour, you're not going to get the same result. And those steak strips will stick together in the bowl, you'll have to pull them out a piece at a time. But it is worth having that extra patience for that wonderful result. Just wait to see what this looks like when it comes out of the pan. Add four tablespoons of corn flour and a quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and pepper and an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. Toss it all together to coat the steak. Don't forget that will be a sticky mixture. And now for the frying. You could deep fry this, but personally I hate having a big vat of oil that I've later got to get rid of. So I'm going to shallow fry this steak. It does take a little bit longer, but because of that lovely coating, you're not going to lose any flavour or crispness by shallow frying the steak. Heat three tablespoons of oil, I'm using sunflower oil, in a large frying pan or a wok over a high heat until very hot. When the oil's hot, add the beef in a strip at a time and spread it out. Fry the steak until dark brown and crispy. Try not to move the meat around too much as this reduces the amount of crispness you get. It generally takes about five or six minutes to crisp up the beef with about three or four stirs during that time. Use a slotted spoon or some tongs to remove the beef from the pan and place in a bowl lined with kitchen roll to soak up any excess fat. You're probably going to need to work in two batches to get all that steak fried nice and crisp. On a side note, although we're not using as much oil, this is quite a splattery dish, so I tend to use a splatter guard just to protect the work surfaces a little bit. Add a little bit more oil to the pan if it needs it, and repeat cooking the second batch of beef and then placing it in the bowl with the first batch. Just look at how crispy and gnarly that beef is. It's going to work so well with that sauce. Now add half a tablespoon of oil to the pan and turn the heat down to medium. Add in a sliced onion and cook for two minutes until slightly softened. Now add in a finely chopped red chilli plus a teaspoon of minced ginger and three minced cloves of garlic and cook while stirring for about 30 seconds. Then we want to add two tablespoons of rice vinegar, three tablespoons of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of tomato puree, six tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of tomato ketchup, and two tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce to the pan. Stir everything together and then turn up the heat and let it bubble for a couple of minutes until the sauce starts to reduce a little bit. Add the 
beef back into the pan and give it a stir and heat through for one to two minutes until the beef is hot. We're going to serve this with some egg fried rice and if you've not subscribed yet make sure you do because I'm going to share my recipe for easy egg fried rice later on this week. Oh my gosh, just look at this. My mouth is watering and I can see Chris is just dying to come and have a taste. When I was testing this in the kitchen the other week, the whole family were gathered around the pan, all giddy. Couldn't wait to have a taste. Oh, it's amazing. You've got to try it. So good. Chris, I'm not sharing. <laughs>